Hi, it's Shelley with Gilbert Marketplace. And today I'm going to jump on and show you how cute these little wood trays can be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some paint and what I do is I wet a little piece of paper towel and then I kind of dip my paint in there. So I'm going to turn my paint basically into a stain because I don't really want it real, real super dark. So this kind of waters down the paint and makes it like a stain. So it will be somewhat see-through and not so painted like. And we're just going to, and you could use stain. The only reason why I don't really love stain is because truthfully, it sticks to my fingernails and it smells terrible. And if you're doing it in the house, you don't want that. So uh, this is a great alternative. Plus you can really use any of your paint colors and make stain out of it. So um, plus the other advantage is that it is dry super quick because we're really just rubbing it on. So we won't have to wait for all that dry time. Another great feature with it is on these trays, if you notice, um, like if they're glued together, stain does not cover glue. So then you end up with these white spots like this where, you know, something spilled, it will not cover. You can actually use a paintbrush and just paint it on because paint does, you know, cover it. So that's another advantage. Now, I, I did do this bottom kind of haphazardly because we're not going to um, really use it so it don't really it don't really matter because we're gonna cover that up with a cute um, I use the I'm sure you're familiar with the um, calendars and this is probably an older calendar that we had but um, that's what I'm gonna use one of the pictures now if you have a calendar you like and you can't find a ton of them, I see people buying a ton of them. The good thing is, so like I said, we can just use a little paint and actually paint where um, it's not covering because most likely it had glue on it. So I'll just kind of use my paintbrush. It will be a little darker there, but I'd rather have it dark than stained looking you know what I mean like it looks like it missed something so you can see like in the cracks where these were probably glued together I can just if it gets a little thick or kind of over then just use your rag again with a little more water and then you can even dip a little um, water on your paintbrush to get it to go in there but not too thin because like I said then it won't cover the white spots but I saw there was a you know, like here, we'll just put a little more paint actually on it. A little where the white spots are covering or not covering, we'll just put a little more solid paint instead of, like I said, a stain, but it will look good. There you go. There's that little white spot here. We'll just kind of cover it with paint a little bit darker. And I'll just wipe that off a little just because it's a little dark. Maybe that's a little too much. We'll put a little back on there. Just so it doesn't have a total. Let me get a little dry brush there. We could just kind of play with that. Okay. So now I have. I'm going to just do my edge here a little bit darker just so it looks a little more finished. And you could paint it, you could stain it. I mean, there's so many things. I just thought I'd do something a little different than normal, just the standard paint. I mean, you can do that. No, no particular way it has to be done. Just trying something a little different, you know, if you haven't thought of how to do it. That's what the tutorials are for, give people different like ideas, you know. Okay, a little bit maybe more right here. And then I'm just going to take, like I said, my calendar. Cap that up so we don't spill it. And what I did, it was a full page. And 
and I just Xeroxed it on my machine in color. Okay, so that was like the calendar page, and then I cut it. And so I started to lay it like here on here and then fold it because I thought, gee, that would be the back. I would tell you, don't try it out because it's not exactly. So then I pushed it down here and then I just took my finger. I'm going to make a crease right here. And then I'm just going to use my scissors to, you know, do this fold here. And that way it should, excuse me, it should fit precisely in there. Just like that. So it'll look like a little vintage truck. I just thought it would be super cute. What I'm going to use it for is my little faux. I made some, we're going to use Mosh Posh. I used it for my faux. I made this little faux. You can check out one of my other tutorials on how to make the little faux mugs. And I might put something on there for Christmas. I did them for Grinch and different things like that. Let me just rinse my brush here. Gonna put a little Mod Podge on there. Now the trick to using the Mod Podge is not to put a ton on there because it wrinkles your paper. I notice like people are like, how do you get your your uh, images so nice? Well, I'm gonna tell you, you don't need a ton of this Mod Podge. A little goes a long way. Put a nice thin coat. Don't um, let it be all bumpy. So that's it. And then I'm going to put this. Grandma's babysitting today, and I hear he's up. Isn't that fun? Okay, so then I'm gonna put this right in there, and it's not perfect. I'm going to lay that right in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna push down with it. And we're just going to Get that down just like that. Look how cute. And once that dries real good, I'll kind of put that's another thing I really don't do. I don't put another coat of Maj Podge on it because I feel like that's what messes it up. So a lot of people do. But if there's a lifted edge, I will take and put a little Maj Podge and lift it up and put it under. Like I can see this edge isn't really sealing too good. So I will put a little bit thicker coat on that and I may just put a little hair down here on that edge. This will keep it from being bumpy. Then I'm going to add some pretty ribbons on the handle and I'm going to have a cute little tray for my little faux um, mug. So you can find more tutorials at Gilbert Marketplace and see the finished project there with the little ribbons on. Hey, thanks for watching. Also, you can find me on Home Talk. Have a great day.